There's some apps you can download on your phone as well that track how much time you spend on certain apps and with your phone open. And I did that uh, like last week. Oh, a braver man than I. <laughs> yeah, and wow, this, the results are pretty scary. Yeah. Um, you sort of, you think, oh yeah, I'm not one of those people that spends ages on the phone, but by the end of the day, you clocked up three hours. You're like, wow, okay, where'd that time go? And you open up the app and you call down, you're like, wow, okay, that's like an hour and a half on Instagram, oh God. Um, but yeah, I think there's, there's something for everyone in this. I think it's definitely something that you should, bring in from Denmark, especially also the way in which uh, they feel very you can download on your phone and well together when they have events. I don't know, there's a, cer- there's a certain sort of feeling. I, would, I won't say the word Hugo because we won't go crazy again. Um, but, <laughs> there's Jack I'm fighting again, it close. back. <laughs> but I think... Um, Hugo! <laughs> there's events where I've just sat in a park with some friends and we've been around a bonfire and everyone's just sort of listened to music together. It's that kind of feeling of togetherness and no one really having to stand out all the time which is really nice as well. And that's quite a nice takeaway is this lesser um, standout all the time, sort of focus on individualism and more on collectivism um, and the idea that we should all be part of society rather than having people and more striving higher than others. I think it's one of the places which has the lowest um, income uh, spread between different people as well. Places so which has the people low, actually on uh, relatively spread between similar. different incomes. It's quite a big middle class in Denmark. I think that really shows relatively similar incomes. And I've, been, I've been holding it back, but... What is Hugo? Okay, what is Hugo? And would you say there's a British equivalent? Um, I think with Hugo, um, the number one way of showing or explaining it probably is imagine yourself around a campfire with a book in your hand. Jack has a book in his hand right now. Um, And you're with all your best friends. You've got blankets on. You're under the midnight stars and you're seeing everything around. You're just taking it all in. I think it's to focus on relationships as the core of anything you do, but I also think it's having that feeling of coziness as well. If you combine those two, you probably always have Huga. Like it could be as vague as sitting somewhere where it's raining outside and you're sat up in a blanket with a hot chocolate in your well, hands and you're kind of half reading a book. Or it could be you're outside with your friends, having a great time, the sun's shining. It can be both weather dependent, but I think it's a really good way for them to get through the winter months because it can get really, really dark in the Nordic countries. And so do you think it's sort of um, a concept that's and a lifestyle that's evolved out of necessity? I wouldn't say necessity. Maybe um, they found a way of coping, but it's become bigger than that. So it may be a necessity to begin with, but it's become much broader. Like a, a very good way of showing it would be the candles the way in which they consume twice as many candles as Austria, the next biggest nation in Europe, uh, which is pretty amazing. I think that shows the the huginess and the the coziness together as well. Every day.